Hi, this is Chuck Benedict, mentor for FRC Team 997 in Corvallis, Oregon, here with another series of videos uh, where I am going to talk about building a device driver for a sensor plugged into the RoboRio using WPI Lib. So you are probably used to using some accelerometers, uh, maybe gyro, uh, devices that can just plug into the RoboRio and automatically feed data through uh, onto the smart dashboard so that your program can read and act on that data uh, really without a whole lot of setup. Um, all you do is instantiate a, a class that WPI has provided for you and it just sort of magically happens. Uh, in this series of videos, I undertake the task of building a device driver for a uh, RGB color sensor that is pictured uh, here in front of you. It's from Adafruit. Uh, it uses the um, the TCS 34725 color sensor. Uh, there's other color sensors around, um, but this one seems to be pretty popular. Uh, one of our lead mentors bought it um, for use in a uh, project we're experimenting with. It's a, a ball sorter for an off-season robot that our team is building. Uh, to sort racquetballs and we thought we'd experiment with the sensor. Some folks suggested, well, this sensor has um, device drivers available for the Raspberry Pi, so why don't we just plug it into the Pi and then interconnect our Pi to the RoboRio somehow and uh, get data off of it that way. And that's fine, that probably would work okay. You wouldn't have to write as much code maybe, but um, you know, you'd have to put the Raspberry Pi on the robot which seems kind of an overkill for running a sensor as simple as this. And, you know, my question back to them is, well, you know, we have other sensors that work directly out of the box with the RoboRio. Why can't we build some code that makes this sensor work the same way? So this, this series of videos is going to talk about how I went about doing that. It's not quite as hard as you think. Um, but, you know, when it comes to testing, Testing is something that I'm very passionate about. If you've uh, looked at some of my other videos, you're, you'll see uh, where I sort of went off and talked about testing, and how you can go about it without uh, using a RoboRio, or at least without using it for a time. And uh, well, I think what you're going to find interesting about these videos is how I've gone about testing this sensor um, without a RoboRio. And in particular, um, most of you, maybe some of you have heard of, of this device called a bus pirate. Uh, this device has been out for a number of years, I think since uh, 2010 or something. Um, but what it allows you to do is to hook up a sensor, uh, really any hardware device that speaks over I2C, SPI, one wire, two wire, uh, et cetera, one of those protocols and um, through the USB port on your workstation, you can talk to those devices. So you can, um, through an API that's provided by the bus pirate over a serial port or what your application thinks is a serial port, you can issue commands and read and write data to a sensor that is connected up through one of those protocols. So in this particular case, the, this RGB sensor is an I2C sensor and we want to, uh, in effect, take that device driver and shim it up using Makito and see if we can unplug the I2C calls that are going in through the WPI library and substitute them with calls that go through the bus pirate to see if we can, uh, you know, test that uh, device driver without having to have the RoboRio plugged in. And as it turns out, I was pretty successful in doing it. And these next few videos, I'm going to kind of walk through the process that I went through and show you how, how all that works, which could actually give you some good ideas about how you might actually test other, uh, other sensors without using the RoboRio on your, on your workstation, because this bus pirate could be hooked up to a variety of other sensors, and you could then orchestrate a, uh, an integration test without having to have the RoboRio um, to test your code out. So it's going to be interesting. Uh, I invite you to, uh, to tee up the other videos as I get them recorded, and uh, hopefully you'll find this interesting. Thanks for watching.